All right, this is mainly aimed at my male viewers today, but we're gonna be talking about protection. Yo, yo, and welcome back to another episode of Dan Escapes. I am Dan, and I will hopefully be inspiring you to escape a sedentary lifestyle with my YouTube channel by showing you different activities that I like to do. For instance, mountain biking, surfing, jujitsu, list goes on and on and on. Maybe I should condense it and really focus on something. So yeah, with a lot of the activities I do, especially with mountain biking, surfing, even skateboarding, uh, they tend to be outdoors and you're getting a lot of UV ray attention to your skin. So while I was on Instagram, I kept getting adverts from this product called Life Jacket and they're basically a sun protection brand mainly targeted at men. All right, so when I picked up these life jacket products, they sent a leaflet inside. So I'm gonna read from it because I don't wanna get any of the facts wrong. And it's saying that UV is responsible for 80% of premature skin aging and 90% of melanoma skin cancers. And that's important because men don't really think about putting on sunscreen a lot of the time. And there's been an increase in melanoma cancers within the male population. So that's why Life Jacket have really come about because they really wanted to promote the awareness of protecting your skin. So kudos to them. So now I'm gonna talk about effective ways to protect yourself from the sun. One of them is staying out of its strongest period, which is between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. You just ideally wanna stay under shelter, covered up, just stay out in the sun basically at that period of time. Uh, you can use clothing to protect yourself. Uh, apparently white cotton tees, according to this pamphlet, has only an SPF of five. So UV can still pass through those clothings. I'm wearing something like this, which is a thin material. It's really breathable and really good in summer, but it has built into it UPF 50. So it really protects you from those UV rays and you know, you can surf in them, you can swim in them, and then they, because the material, it dries really quickly. Or you can get like one of these rash guards. So if you're out in the ocean quite a lot, these are ideal as well. This one has built in UPF 50 as well. And, but these are a bit tighter. So they're probably better for if you're snorkeling or swimming, surfing. Another great way to protect yourself is using a daily moisturizer with SPF built into it. Ideally SPF 30. Uh, I was using this one by a brand called Jason. Uh, it's got SPF 20, but it was really nice to put on, uh, really light and because it's oil free. I have very oily skin. We're going into some of the beauty realms right now. But I picked up this daily protection, which I use on my face now, and it's got SPF 30. Uh, again, non-greasy, which is great for me, and also fragrance free. Uh, I would say it's got a kind of chemically smell to it and it's a bit harder to rub in than this one sometimes around my beard area I've still got some white marks uh, but you know you just got to spend some time and rub it in whereas this one just goes in really smoothly I would say when I've been training and sweating loads this gets in my eyes and it starts stinging this one no I haven't had any problems and obviously if you're going to be spending a lot of time at the beach or outdoors and you're gonna be having a lot of skin exposure, then you probably wanna go up to the SPF 50 range. This one's an SPF 50 plus, uh, so is this one. Um, this one is a natural brand. I think it's a French brand and it was quite cool. Uh, I liked that it was all natural products in it. The only problem is it was very hard to rub in. <laughs> I'd be there for ages and basically, it looked like I had a white film all over my face and also stained my car. Yeah, I wasn't really happy with this one. All of these products are reef safe, so there is a chemical in some of the cheaper brands that can damage coral reef, and you know, that's really what I wanna stop from happening. That's why I started really getting into sunscreen in the first place, because I was diving and snorkeling in lots of places. So with this life jacket one, it does go in very well. It's a sun gel instead of like a cream. Uh, again, non-greasy and it does feel light on your skin and it it's not an easy rub, but it doesn't show up like this. But yeah, this has been great. Actually smells really nice as well. It's got a really nice fragrance to it. If you're looking for sun protection that feels good on your skin and you're out all the time doing activities like cycling, 
uh, climbing, where you've got a lot of sun exposure, surfing, then this is the one. Although it says it's formulated for men, my partner, she used it and she said she was happy with it. She said it felt really nice on. So one thing I do wanna to touch upon, this is probably more feedback at Life Jackets and if you wanna look for more of a sustainable option. Uh, Life Jacket do come in these recycled boxes, but it is covered in plastic film, so maybe they can get rid of this and just do it in the box like Wild do. You know, that deodorant I reviewed last year sometime. I'm still using them to this day and still love them. And great that it's all biodegradable stuff inside. So it would be interesting to see if like maybe later on down the line, either Life Jacket or another brand, they do like a refillable biodegradable sachet that you could just get that sent to your house and then have a refillable bottle. You know how like wild deodorant have the refillable case. It'd be cool to see if someone can do that for sunscreen as well. I don't know, life jacket if you're listening, maybe. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, do you guys use sunscreen? Uh, do you just prefer just to go bare, free, let the sun hit you and then turn into a lobster or get a nice tan? Uh, you know, it'd be interesting to know what you guys are doing and also what kind of products you do use if you are protecting yourself. And if you're using these shirts, can you suggest any that I can check out myself? But yeah, let's go out and ride. All right, so I'm back at the pump track. And if you look at it, it's very overgrown. I haven't been here for a while and definitely the grass has taken over. <laughs> Uh, luckily, it's not on any of the jumps, which is quite nice. Not only have I got protection from my head, I've got the protection from the sun on this UV ray top. I've put my life jacket sunscreen on on my face. So yeah, let's go hit some tracks and see what I can do today. So I'm still struggling to clear this tabletop jump. I feel like my front wheel's getting over the bank, but then my back wheel's still landing on the tabletop. So yeah, I, I just, maybe I need someone to tell me what I'm doing wrong, but please, please, please let me know if what I can do to adjust it, what I can do to help it. Yeah, I'm gonna just practice on my technique for a while now and just see if I can fully get this jump. But yeah, it's, it's a real struggle at the moment. Like. I might not be getting too much air as well, so I might need to kind of push up the transition more, straighten up to get that bit of height. Yeah, let's keep trying. Now. Yeah, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it really helps and I very much appreciate it. Yeah, let me know in the comments below to use sun protection. Uh, if you don't, please tell me why not. But yeah, also check out Life Jacket. They're great products. Like I said, goes on really nicely. Really enjoying using it. So no reason not to buy sun cream now for you guys. Also for women as well, if you wanna pick up this one, you can try it out for yourself and see if it works for you. Also, let me know where I should go ride next and how I'm progressing on my jumping. I could feel that my back tire was hitting just above the top of the landing. So yeah, get in there. We'll soon clear it and be jumping higher stuff, getting really gnarly, doing some tricks. But yeah, hope you're all staying safe, staying positive, having fun, and I shall see you in the next one.